Patrick King, who gave Reverend Jackson his assignment to be in Chicago. Now, being in Chicago, as you all know, and I know Dallas is working hard to prove us otherwise, but the city of Chicago is the greatest freaking city in the entire world. Now, the reason why the city of Chicago is great because we have an incredible architect of what I've referred to as the soul of Chicago. And you are the architect of that. And my administration reflects the very soul of this great city. Now here's what's impressive about Reverend Jackson. Reverend Jackson is the only person that I've ever met who never sees a loss as defeat. Because for Reverend Jackson, a loss is just simply the starting point for our next battle. You all know in 1971, when this operation called Bread Basket was reimagined and established what we know today as PUSH, fierce dedication to a platform that quite frankly embodies the very hopes and dreams of those of us who are descendants of slaves. Because during the emancipation, black people said healthcare, education, jobs, housing, and transportation. Now I've offered a friendly amendment to our ancestors' dreams. We need a real plan for a new green economy because global warming, y'all, is real. Now you all know a couple of weeks ago it was pouring down rain. Every West Sider that had my number texted me. <laughs> a lot of pressure when you're the West Side. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Just do it, just because you want to do it anyway. Doesn't it feel good to have a mayor that lives on the West Side of Chicago? <laughs> so as it's pouring rain, it's 110 degrees in other regions. Smoke is coming across the border from Canada. And I told my wife, if the locusts begin to fall, it's all over here. Because it is at hand. But in 1984, you took that push and you took it across this country. And you established a platform that our ancestors would be proud of. And before anyone was talking about health care for all, Reverend Jackson said single payer. Yeah. Yeah. Before we started talking about change in the economy that speaks to the interests of all people, Reverend Jackson said multicultural intergenerational movement to bring about real transformation across this globe. And I thank you for that collective power and struggle. But the part that I'm actually really impressed by is that you understood your assignment, sir. See, sometimes people wish to become kings and rulers. And then there is an accountability system that the Bible established through his prophets. Okay, now. I know I'm mayor of Chicago, but I think my grandfather would say, I think I feel my help coming. Because you understood the assignment, much like Elisha, the Bible describes Elisha as an instigator of a holy war, where not only did he feed prophets and make sure that they wouldn't die, 
The Bible says that he also trained up other prophets. Because Reverend Jackson understands the power and the authority that comes with the mantle. And it is through that power and that authority that a brother on the west side of Chicago can hear the prophetic voice of Reverend Jesse Jackson pulling at 2.8%. But well, yeah, here I be. Hey! Now, of course, we're grateful that we don't have to say farewell. Wow. We could just simply say, Reverend, I'll call you right back. I ain't the only one. I know you be blowing our phones up. 